Good morning guys, welcome to day four on our adventure here at Port Renfrew. The crew, Jessica, we have Cam, Brian, and Kayla on the right. Uh, we have unfinished business today. We came to Botanical Gardens, no, Botanical Beach. Yep, thank you, Kayla. <laughs> Two days ago. Two days ago, and we, have, uh, we were here during high tide, but apparently you have to see it during low tide. That's when it's spectacular, so we're back for that. We're going sea urchin hunting. We're going to see the urchins. See the urchins. When we were here two days ago, the ocean tide came up to here. And now it's way out there. So the whole point of Botanical Beach here is you get these big tide pools because this is, this is all solid rock as opposed to being sand beach type thing. And uh, yeah, it's great for checking out marine life, sea anemones, starfish, urchins, all that stuff. So this is a really unique ecosystem. Not only is the plant life and animal life living around here half in the water, half out of the water, depending on the tides, it's also half in fresh water, half in salt water. So obviously when the tide comes in, this is fully covered and submerged in ocean water, seawater, but over there has a freshwater river coming in. And that's what all this is. So right now while the tide is out, all the salt water is out there, fresh water is running through. So the plants and animals have to be able to survive in this, but also they're sort of out in the air and exposed at the moment whereas during high tide, they're now fully underwater. So very interesting sea life to be able to survive here constantly. Anyway, something that I found interesting. Hey Jess, you know how this beach stays so clean? No. It uses tide. Uh, <laughs> advertisement. Advertisement. Oh my gosh. I don't know what this rock is called, but I'm gonna call it egg carton rock. Because look, yeah. look at this. That's exactly what it is, Mike. <laughs> okay, way to crack another joke, Jess. Yokes, yokes, yokes. <laughs> Kayla found a crab. Ah! There you go. Okay, so we're on this big shelf of rock here. And there's a couple of little, like, I would call puddles, but they're they're deep enough, they're tiny, tiny pools, and they catch seawater, obviously, at high tide when the low tide goes out. But there are fish trapped in here. And I guess they wait, what, 10 and a half hours until the next high tide cycle? <laughs> Every time, no matter where, Cam will find the biggest stick and uh, show him who's boss. Oh! I find when you go to the beach, you really get to see personalities. Cam looks for six, likes to throw rocks. Kayla is the explorer adventurer, loves to discover, mostly play with crabs and find wildlife in these tiny pools. Brian, also a rock guy, but also into the crabs. And uh, Jess just enjoys the beauty and just enjoying it, <laughs> pretty much. And then I'm the one who tails along with the camera all the time. Whoa, look at this. Okay, we're watching where all the creeks and streams are coming from and some of them are, let me show you. Big streams, very clear where the water is coming from. Look at this one, nothing there. It's literally coming out of the sand. It just appears out of nowhere. But you now, you now have running water from, from what? Man, nature is crazy. You guys gotta get outside. Ooh. Moving from the rain, getting to the cabin oh, just in time. Guys, thanks for watching to the end of the video. I really appreciate it. It's good to see you. I don't know where I'm going next. 
but I know I want you there with me. So make sure to click my face and subscribe. And until then, see you guys.